Good afternoon, everybody. This is Victor Ruiz I'm from Getting Healthy Today. I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that I came up with. It's, do you have difficulty trusting people? Now, a lot of us have difficulty trusting people for many different reasons. We might have been hurt before in our life. We might have been uh, damaged in relationship because of trust. So trust is really, really important in our lives. And sometimes people that hurt us in that way don't really realize how difficult that is and how that hurts people so you know a lot of times we got to think before we do right and a lot of people don't do that they don't think before they look they don't think before they say something and they end up hurting somebody in the process so today I want to talk to you about trust in a lot of different capacities the first thing I want to ask you is do you have uh, more trust in what people say to you or do you have more trust in people and what they do to you so if someone says they're going to do something, do you trust them more or do you trust that their actions will speak louder than words? So if you believe that trust, you can trust somebody through what they say, put a one in the, in the comment below. And if you feel you trust people after they do something when they say it, so the action of trust, put a two in the comment section below. So let's know which one is mostly where you fall. Now, I usually fall more towards number two, which is the actions. A lot of times people say what they want to say just to make it sound good or look good. So a lot of times people trust, you trust, you, you have a, 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 a profound relationship over time. You develop a relationship with people over time. So once you get to know a person, then you can start to trust them. But even so, as you get to know somebody, you still have sometimes some hesitation possibly. So it could take even years and months sometimes, and depending on the type of person that you're dealing with, it could take even longer. So one of the things that we really have to do is be excellent communicators to other people. So if you really feel something, you feel hurt, you feel upset, you feel happy, that's what you really need to say to keep that genuineness out there. You know, being more genuine and being more authentic with people improves your relationships. Because if you basically don't like something and you're just appeasing the person, they may fall victim to something that's called people-pleasing behaviors. So people-pleasing behaviors are something that are not something you want to get involved in. That's considered like an unhealthy type of communication style. So if I were to do something just to make people happy all the time and never give my full experience, then people don't know the genuine side of me. I'm holding back something. I'm not really being genuine with that person. So after a while, people may know I'm doing that and don't trust me even so. So I don't I don't um, recommend that people do that just to please people all the time. There's nothing wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong to please people, but to an extent. There has to be a point in time where you tell the person exactly how you feel. So when someone says, are you feeling mad with me right now? And basically, you can say, yes, I do. And if you say why, then you need to explain to them why. You don't have to scream at them. You don't have to really um, give them real strong uh, statement where they, you know, you're intimidating towards them. But you do need to tell them directly and as quickly as possible and clearly as possible what you're experiencing and why you're angry with them. Because, quite frankly, they need to know the truth, right? Because if you hold back, you're only hurting yourself. So that becomes a health risk for you. So trust to me is probably the most important thing in any relationship. You have trust with your parents, you have trust with your friends, you have trust with your coworkers, you have trust uh, in the people that you buy from. If you trust uh, God, if you trust your priest, if you trust your um, rabbi, if you trust your imam, no matter where you are in life, you're always going to trust someone and hopefully you feel you can trust someone. Now, I work in the field of mental health and substance abuse and I work with inmates. And a lot of times they basically tell me that the number one concern is the lack of trust that they have with people. So I know that for a fact when I've worked with mental health individuals and especially people that deal with paranoid schizophrenia, you have to establish trust. As a matter of fact, many years ago, I had a guy that really trusted me so much that when it came to the time that he had to go to the hospital, the police came, he had a problem with police and he didn't trust police. I was able to calm down and and help him get through that process because he trusted me and had established that relationship. So the fact that you develop a relationship with someone and they trust you, okay, helps you to help them because their comfort level is increased. So you want to establish that comfort level with somebody and you want to be 
as direct as possible. So when someone sees what you are, who you are, and what you say you are, then they really trust you. And now, we can all make mistakes, but I think if you make a mistake with someone, you have to honestly tell them what happened and explain a little bit. Now, they're not going to be very uh, accepting of that at first, but what you have to do is you have to continue to show actions that say to that person, you can be trusted again. So we can be redeemed if we allow ourselves to do that and we push ourselves to do that. So it's, it's absolutely necessary to do that. Okay. So in the comments section below, put a three in the comments if you have experienced problems with trust. That's right. If you've experienced problems with trust in your life, put a three. And as you put three, tell me what happened in that occasion, that situation that caused you to have trust problems. I'm sure that it had to be with uh, had to do with something to do with communication and something that the other person did to you, or could have said something to you that could have hurt you in such a way. Now, the other two to have definite, clear, and sound boundaries, interpersonal boundaries with people. I've taught this to people, and they realize after a little bit of that uh, lesson that they feel that it's, it's super important. It's helped them in their life. People that I've helped with that situation. It's helped them improve their relationships with other people because now they become more empowered and they're able to let people know that they stand for something and they're not going to be a doormat to someone else. So I don't know about you, but I don't want to be a doormat to anyone. And I want to make sure that people know that they can't be walking all over me. So I hope that you out there don't let people walk all over you because it's not, it's not appropriate, right? It's not cool. So in order for us to, to take that away, and to make people feel more confident with us and not to walk over us. We need to be strong in our convictions and be very consistent in our behavior. So if you're very consistent in your behavior and you follow through on what you say, through, that trust is going to go away really fast. So you must do that in, in, a, in a way that allows you to do that. So if I say to you, I'm going to... Talk, I'm going to call you up tomorrow at 3 p.m. Guess what? I better call you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Because I just said that out loud and you heard me. And everything that we put out there is permanent, right? So we got to be careful what we say if we don't mean it. So if I say I'm going to call you at 3 p.m. tomorrow in the afternoon about such and such uh, problem that you may be having, whatever, to help you out, I better call you at 3 p.m. or even 2.58 to make sure I get you at 3 o'clock. Now, if I call you at 3 o'clock tomorrow, you're going to start to say, wow, this guy is definitely uh, on his word. And he calls me at 3 o'clock like he said he would. And here I am. I'm doing that. So that's the first thing. Then if I do it again, that increases my credibility and so forth and so on. So the more you do something more consistently, you create a credibility or a sense of comfort in the other person because they believe in what you say. So I'm a big believer in when I work with the inmates in the, in the job that I do because I do that as a primary, uh, but I'm in the business, I'm in business uh, right now, health and wellness. But... My primary uh, business right now that I'm working is working with inmates, and I have to be able to promise something, and I better be able to keep it. So I don't always promise exactly. So I may say to them, I'll meet you tomorrow at 10 a.m., but it all depends on if the officers will, will give me accessibility to you. So I don't give them a whole 100%, but I do give them the idea that there may be a chance that I am not be able to see them. Also, they know that I may have to see somebody that may have... A, a problem with suicide so I may have to deal with uh, a risky situation and I may not be able to see them that day but they understand that I'm making an attempt to see them at a specific time and date and then when I follow through on that guess what that credibility goes way 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 up so now that person says wow this guy I can deal with this guy because he's up front with me and when he can't do something he lets me know as well so you want to back that up when you can't do something don't be afraid to say you know what I can't make it today or I can't see you at a specific time I'm gonna to try to do that so you don't want to say I can't promise you anything but this is what my intentions are so you want to give that to someone tell them what your intentions are and then people will start to believe what you have to say so like I said before in the beginning of this broadcast I'm a firm believer about the actions that you take are stronger than what you say so you can say as much as you want, but if you can't back it up, guess what? It's not going to work. How about sports? When people say, ah, we'll crush you, and guess what? They lose at the end of the day. They didn't back up what they could do, right? Something happened. So be careful what you say 
Because if, uh, if you're working in a situation, you say, I'll get that done by 4 o'clock Friday to your boss. Guess what? Your boss is going to be upset with you because you promised them to get it done by 4 o'clock. So be careful of how you promote that situation. Make sure that you're clear, do this, and I will do this, right? So only, only promise what you can do and only do what you can do. So be honest. If you can't make something, tell the person, I'm sorry, I can't do that for you today. Or like I said earlier, um, I can't call you at 3 p.m. because that's not in my schedule. I can call you at 4 p.m. You know, so give an alternative to what you can do. So people just want you to be as honest as, they, as you can be, you know. And if you're always worried about getting hurt, guess what? You will be hurt. That's my, my fun. So you've been hurt before. It doesn't mean that every single issue later on is going to be a hurtful situation. So remember, when you're talking to people, be direct. Tell them exactly what you want from them. And then follow through with them with consistency on a daily basis so if you keep that routine in your mind you're going to have much better relationships with people you're going to increase your credibility with others and you're going to grow your business you're going to grow your life into a better and healthier state of mind so i hope this has been giving you tremendous value please feel free to like share and comment maybe somebody that you know may uh need this kind of talk for their own life and could change because i'm about impacting people's lives and I want you to be impacted as well by what I've said today. So I hope that all of you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have a very healthy and blessed week next week. I hope everything that you wish for comes true. And thank you so much for uh, checking me out here on the broadcast. And again, you can see me uh, on Getting Healthy Today on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I have my own Block Talk radio program. Check that out, please. And also check out my YouTube channel where you'll see maybe these broadcasts that you're seeing on there also. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye. Bye for now. I'll see you on next broadcast.